I got the tickets. Cynthia? You asleep? I know you hate surprises. Bad neighborhood, Joe. What time is it? It's 2.30. Well, I guess I had to get up sometime. Joe! What the hell are you doing here? Well, I was wondering if you could put me out for a few days. There's a problem. I can always find a hotel in town or something. Nonsense. Plenty of room here. So what, did you run out of toxins? I thought you hated L.A. I do. How you been? at home. Look, I'm, uh, I'm real sorry I couldn't make it to the wedding. Mm. Believe it or not, I really did have work to do. Plus, you know how I hate the country. I mean, all that green, terrible color. Never use it myself. Reminds me of urinal mints. <laughs> Seriously, Joe. I really did want to come. Must have been really nice. I mean, really, really nice. I feel just terrible about it. You know, it's awful. Elijah, Elijah, just forget it. It's okay. She's left me. It was quick. The drag. I found this. Yesterday. Coffee. The wedding was just three days ago. I mean, tomorrow we were supposed to go to Hawaii. The, uh, the big island. See the volcanoes and um, the honeymoon, you know? I, I, I don't understand it. It's completely insane. I'm out of filters. I'm out of coffee. I'll get it. It's her.
Hi. Hello. Hi. Look, man, you can stay with me as long as you want to. You know that. But you gotta get real, pal, because there's like a bazillion people in this city. Want a beer? Yes, please. Me too, please. Andrea. Andrea, Joe. Joe and I were roommates back at Cal Arts. He was voted most talented. I was voted most likely to succeed. Then he moved away to the woods. How do you do? Hi, nice to meet you. So, uh, hmm? you're an artist? Uh, well, I suppose so, yes. Will you need a model? I work cheap. Well, uh, mostly I'm a naturalist. I charge more outdoors. I get cold, plus it's weird. You're from England, aren't you? Yes. I'm from New York. You know, I just love the way you people talk. It's really... Oh! oh! What made you come here? Change of pace. No art in England. I got a scholarship for... Um, Masterpiece Theater. So what do you think of America? Andrea, would you do me a favor and please shut up and sit still? Still painting? Uh, well, the nature center takes up most of my time. You know, grooming the rabbits, exercising the tree frogs. For a clean life, I tell you. No rat race, no pressure, no... So, your stuff's selling. Yeah, like hotcakes. Ellie Weekly called me a true feminist artist, indicting the objectification of women. Very good. It explains the bags. Symbolic of depersonalization. Still can't draw faces. Exactly. <laughs> you know, she said she was happy. I mean, what was that? Was she lying? I mean, we were happy. There was, the, there was no fight or anything. It's, we were just so... Wonderful. Happy. Lovely. Yes. Joe, how'd you meet her? Uh, you were right. What do you mean? I mean, is everything okay? I think so. Well, the park closes at sunset, so... No, you can stay a little while longer. It's, it's not dark yet. I didn't mean to play nature cop. Need help with your bag? No, I have it. How do people's minds work? Let's go into the woods. Yeah, drink some beer. <laughs> what is it? Hyla Regilla. It's a Pacific tree frog. They, uh, they can change color, like chameleons. Why? Well, to suit the background foliage, or depending on their moods. I don't like them in a cage. Well, it's, it's just for the kids who come here. I, uh, I usually only keep them for a couple of weeks, and then I let them go. They don't seem to mind. You drew that? Hmm. I like it. <laughs> so where are you staying? I haven't thought about it. I have $15. Oh. 
can't get very far. Um, look, I don't mean to pry, but do you know anybody around here? No. No, just you. Where are you from? Los Angeles. My name's Cynthia Baker, by the way. Joseph Prince. Joe. Well, Miss Baker, what do you want to do? I could get a job. Be a waitress or something. That's what people do, isn't it? Well, there's a couch in my cabin up the trail. You could use that, I suppose. I'd like that. Get it. What's that? You've been babbling at me for about a year and a half here, and I still don't know a thing about this girl. What was she like, man? She tell jokes. She believe in God. Does she close her mouth when she chews? She chews. You don't know a thing about her, do you? I know. I Maybe not. Obviously not. <laughs> you know what's funny is, is I, with all my other girlfriends, I used to, I used to have to know everything about them, where they, who they'd slept with, you know, what it was like. <sighs> so it didn't matter. Oh fuck! I don't know. How well do you ever know anybody? How well do I know you? All right. I mean, Marry me. Night. My dreams. Can I get you some aspirin? No. No, I just can't sleep. You know, there's a, a trick I use sometimes when I have trouble sleeping. I listen. First, I, I concentrate on the closest sound. refrigerator humming in the kitchen and I sort of disappear try to become that sound that hum and then the next sound further away there's the tree frogs calling and there's a breeze in the trees and then further away there's water over the rocks and the stream. And further, far away, further. Until I'm the sound I can't hear. And that's when I'm asleep.
I saw your flyer and I just had to call. I thought, my, that looks just like Beth. She used to teach here, sixth grade English. <laughs> Girls! <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Uh, about two years ago, such a shy, timid young woman, she couldn't control the classes at all. Girls that age can be so unruly. Could you just have a look at these photos for me? Oh, no. It's not her. I'm sorry. We have so many different young teachers here, and they all look alike, especially to me. You're sure? Yes. This girl's standing up. Beth was paralyzed from the waist down. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to bother you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. So I just want to make sure that we understand each other, Joseph. You give me $150, I'll find a girl for you. And you're sure it's Cynthia, this girl here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Look, her or someone just like her. Yeah, better than her. $200, you can have her whole night. A little, I think. Where were we? I'm in bed, I think, last I remember. Yes. When did you really do this? Is this your old Navy days? I never had a father. 
My mother gave me away. Sorry. Passed around so many places, foster homes. Nobody wanted me. And then when I grew up, all they wanted were pieces of me. But you're different, aren't you? All I can say is... Just promise me you'll love me always. I will. I will. I believe you. Always. I'm glad to hear it. And promise me something else. Well, eternal love not good enough for you. Promise me that you'll try painting again. Why? Because you're talented. Yeah. Well, why do you hang them up if you don't like them? I don't know, just hide a crack in the wall. You're so good. But I'm glad you like them. Okay. If it weren't important to you, you wouldn't do it so well. Promise you'll try. Promise me you'll try and promise me you'll love me forever. That's all, okay? Maybe, yes, I, uh, he specialized in hieroglyphics. Go home, you don't want to tell you. Uh, well, no, I, I don't, actually, uh, so. Have you ever, um, have you ever done a, a tattoo like this? Oh, Cirrus. I see. Um, is it possible that you, you could have done one of those tattoos on this woman. Please. Yeah, they used to come in here. Who's they? Vultures, waste people. I'm sorry, wait, waste people. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what a succubus is? Okay, what? It doesn't matter. I never seen him again anyway. Now that's all. All right, well, um, if you come up with anything, uh, just give me a call. Thank you. AD2. Emergency service. Succubus. A female demon supposed to descend upon and have sexual intercourse with a man while he sleeps in order to steal his soul. I married a succubus. It's really nice of you. Still find time to broaden your vocabulary there, Joe. You know, this fellow down at the tattoo parlor called her a vulture. A waste person. I mean, what the hell is a waste person? I'm talking about the waste goer. Waste gallery. It's an art trash place. Real visual conceptual idiocy. Bought some of my stuff. They call, call themselves waste people, appropriately enough. Well, let's go. Joe, come here. Come from England, so keep it down, all right? I'm uh, looking for somebody. Who is it? I was wondering if any of you knew anything about a woman named Cynthia Baker. Where did you buy your shoes? Oh. 
department store. Yes. These are my people. I gotta take a piss. No, have a look at this. Jenny Purge. Very 80s. Uh, made films about prostitutes, junkies. Stuff's alright if you like real repulsive shit. There's this woman here in the picture. Mara Saad. Very funny. Very cute. Cynthia. You know, I know it's her, and I, I know it's her, but I think it's her. I'm sure it's her. Want to see some of your wife's work? falling asleep. Can we take a break? Mm-hmm. Could you turn that off? 
What? Could you turn off that music? It's giving me a headache. Yeah, sure. I was never much of a one for Wagner. All that passion. Music to kill yourself by. <laughs> Can you close the window, please? What is this? What is the Middle East? God damn it. Oil! Oil! What is this? Jenny Purge. Jennifer Rabinowitz. Who are you? What do you want? It's about this woman. Mara, are you a cop? <laughs> no, not at all. I, I need to talk to you. Well, I haven't got anything to say. I think you do. Okay, then. Here, hold these a sec, would you? the building. You can just put that stuff down anywhere. Oh, Christ, not my eyes. I told you bastards, I don't have it. Now you tell Dino to leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, sure, take my money. <laughs> she married you? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. That must really hurt. Hang on. God, it looks like her, but, uh... You, as Mara's husband, <laughs> no way. Yeah, her name is Cynthia. Cynthia Baker? That's the name on her fake passport. Yes, now wait a minute. Fake? I don't know where she got Cynthia from, but Baker came from Norma Jean. Baker. You know, Marilyn Monroe. You want a drink? So Cynthia wasn't her name. Why did she need a fake passport? You know, for business, we sold stuff. People buy this stuff? I wish. We dealt a little, you know, to make ends meet. Not to school kids or anything. Drugs. You've heard of them. Well, you do know about her and me, right? I 
I just love pictures, don't you? That was a party for our second anniversary. Halloween, uh, three years ago. You were lovers. <laughs> Gee, you're quick. <clears throat> we were in this part-time film thing. Mara was in an acting class. She was on the edge, too, you know. We hit it off. Okay, so you were lovers and um, drug dealers. So what else can you tell me about it? It's funny. After she left, I was just like you. Sorry, this must be pretty rough on you, huh? Well, I always wanted to meet her friends. You could fill a book with what I didn't know about Mara. I knew she was pretty fucked up. I guess we both were. But we didn't talk about that. It wasn't part of the game. She saved that for her shrink. Way she left. Why? Oh, that's something you don't forgive. What happened? She left me to die. I don't want to talk about it. This um, psychiatrist of hers. Remember his name? Beaumont. William. Bev Hills, real fancy, total asshole. He won't give you the time of day. She left all this shit behind when she split. She said this thing about Marilyn Monroe. You know, the whole feminine vulnerability trip. Perfect victim. Anyway, I made this little movie about it. Had a fight over who got to be Marilyn. Mind if I take some of this stuff? No, out? no, no, take it. <laughs> Hell, I don't know what to do with it. Shit, I should have gotten rid of it a long time ago. After all, you're her husband. Well, thanks. I suppose. How's your head? It hurts a lot. Really sorry. Really. Um, in case I think of anything else, how do I get in touch? Oh. Here. I'm going to give you my address up north. And the, uh, the number where I'm staying. You know, I sincerely hope you find her. Hey. If you do, tell her. Just have her give me a ring, okay? I wouldn't mind seeing her again, okay? Yeah, right. Weeks. No, I, I, I can't wait that long. Weather none. 
What else? Sir? Lard. Hey, man, can't doubt her taste. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll write another Purge production. The Death of Marilyn. You know, I, I can never forget what people see in this one. Oh, what's a woman without a bag over her head, you know? Starting to like this girl? Doesn't exactly seem like your type, though. My type? What, what's my type? Oh, no, really? What's, what's my type? I'd, li I'd like to hear this. I always imagine you settling down with him. What, what? A little mouse? A no, no, wholesome mouse. Is... Yeah. Mouse. But what? Yeah. What? What? What's I my know, type? My wife, she turns out to be this. What? She's a drug dealing SM diesel dyke, for Christ's sake. Sorry. Two women. It's a beautiful thing. Very lovely. Yeah, uh, can we just do without the, the, the gory details, you know? Tell you something, though. I want us to know everything they did together. Now, everything. Special effects were kind of lame. Human pinatas were good, though. They were quite good, I think. Okay, so much for family entertainment. You know, I'm actually very lucky to be rid of her. And now that I know what she is. Which is a succubus. A succubus, Joe. She is. She's a succubus. She's a... She's a total sucking succubus. You know, she's a, she's a succubus. She descended upon me while I was sleeping to steal my soul. And it's time to give it up. It's time to cut my losses. Exactly. I mean, I, I don't need her. I don't need her. Do I? I mean, fuck her, the hell of a bitch. I, I love her. I mean, that, that's, that's a fact. There's no getting around it. It's, and, and, you know, when you love somebody, it, it simply doesn't matter where they've been, or, or what they've done, or, or even who they are. You know, you, you you forgive them everything simply because you love them. That is so true. Come on, Joe. What the hell is love anyway, man? What is it? It's an illusion created to keep people reproducing. So it's a psychological hard-on, is what it is. You took biology, you should know that. Fuck you, Elijah. I mean, what would you know about it anyway, huh? You only love yourself. Touche. I know exactly what you mean, Joe. I have been in love with some real losers. I mean, total shitheads. And it just doesn't matter, because when you're with them, it's everything. I hope you find her. <laughs> God, you too. Thank you, yes, I'll, I'll definitely be there. Thank you. Does this mean you're not going to be hanging around here for another month and a half? I said I'd get a hotel. Relax. Get in. No, I think it's a wise move. Although I've made fun of psychiatry in the past, I think it's important for oh, some people. I'm, I'm talking about Beaumont here. Morris Street? Cynthia? Whatever? So what, he's going to tell you that she's in a neuro or something? I don't know. I... Just don't you ever eat? in front of other people.
Mm. Rather tart. Who are you calling a tart? <laughs> there, there are people watching me. They're just jealous. My favorite. Right. How do you know? Well, because the curly cues and what have you, when you cook them, they get very squishy, and you don't like squishy in your mouth. They, they get squishy. Cynthia, I... Are we done yet? Not or... yet. Let's go for a nature walk. Here we go. What's this man's story? Mm, poor old Bobby. Frightens the children. Rather sad. Oh, now, don't dismiss him. Look, he's doing a very good job. Takes pride in his work. I'm sure he's got a lot of dignity. She never married. Oh, I bet she did. I suppose she turned to cats. You come when I call. to marry me. something troubling you, Mr. Prince? Um, well, yes, sir. I think there is, yes. Have you been to see a psychiatrist before? Uh, no, never have. May I ask who recommended me to you? Well, it was uh, another patient of yours, actually, Cynthia Baker. She, she also went by another name, Morris Sard. Oh, yes. How can I help you? She's an interesting person, don't you think? Actually, she hasn't been in to see me in quite some time. I'm frankly surprised she recommended me. Look, to tell you the truth, I'm trying to find her. I mean, I don't suppose there's any chance you could tell me when you saw her last. Mr. Prince, if this is the only reason you came to see me, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. You see, I'm her husband. Sorry? Look, I have to find her. Surely you can see that. It just wouldn't be ethical to talk about a patient without permission, even if she is your wife. Look, I'm not asking you to betray any confidences. I, I just need to know where she is. I mean, any, just a clue, a, a phone number or a, a friend or, or somewhere where I, I might be able to find her. I hope you don't. 
for your own sake. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Let me show you something. I made this tape a few years ago when she was hospitalized under my care. Not real, you know that. Anyway, in any case, they're not as strong as I am. She often appeared confused. So? Experienced extreme headaches. Correct? I'm holding on to my faith. God will see me through and, and soon I'll be well. That isn't, that isn't Cynthia. It isn't her. That is the truest her there is. What can be called the core self. Everything else is delusional, invented. Why do you hate Elizabeth? Oh, poor Elizabeth. I'm crying my fucking eyes out for the neurotic bitch. I don't subscribe to the theory of multiple personality myself. She is a different people within one body. It's more accurate to say she's walled off various aspects of a single personality. How are you feeling today? All right. Of course, I'd rather be somewhere else. You know you're doing your own good. You want to get better, don't you? Better than what? Cynthia is a super ego personality, a wish fulfillment figure, a ghost. Everyone's different things to different people at different times, aren't they? Like words. What do you want from me? Sometimes she'd revert, take refuge in an infantile state. So what happened? What made it like this? She never told you. She said something about, um, Foster homes, a father she never knew. Her mother was a schizophrenic. She did terrible things to the child. Beatings, tortures, unspeakable things. I never learned the specifics. She could never talk about them. The mother committed suicide when Elizabeth was 12. The early traumas caused her personality to splinter. Her response to stress, to emotional conflict, is flight, escape. In your case, she probably recognized that she didn't belong with you, that it wasn't real. It was real. I know this must be very strenuous for you, Mr. Prince, but if she were to walk into this room right now, she wouldn't know who you are. I would suggest that you seek an uncontested divorce. I'm very, very sorry that I won't be able to help you, but my next patient is here.
Hey, yo. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I, I was wondering if, if you could help me. I'm, I'm looking for, uh, well, I'll see you. No, I don't know. I don't know the area very well, I'm afraid. Oh, that's okay. See, I'm only looking for the meaning of life. Now get inside the fucking car! <clears throat> Jesus Christ. What the hell is this? I had the kids this weekend. Exceedingly unprofessional, wouldn't you say? What is this? I say, old chap. Your ass is in a bit of a bloody jam, I'd say. What? Fuck off. Who are you people? Good comeback, buddy. I'm Teddy Roosevelt. And this is my partner, Edgar Allan Poe. Ted and Ed. Ooh. Take a bad picture, Joseph. What? What do you want? Hey, getting right down to business. No fucking around. Uh, I like that. Ed, give me stuff. A little birdie told Dino you were in town. He told us. Well, we would like to have a word with your lovely wife, Mora. No, I, I don't. I don't know Mora. I, I was married to Cynthia. Cynthia was just a fake name. She was a different person. Are you retarded, Joe? What? What? Uh, what? Who? Who is this Dino person, anyway? Uh, our business associate. So named due to his resemblance to the famed crooner, Dean Martin. Yeah, I never really thought so. Who's your favorite member of the Rat Pack, Joe? Listen, your wife thought she was being very smart, but she did a very stupid thing. You might be in a position now where you can help her and yourself. Your purchase of this precision instrument opens up the exciting world of personal protection. What the fuck do you want from me? This guy seems to be a little confused. He thinks he's the one asking the questions. Well, thanks, Ed. I'll correct him. <laughs> Joe, we're asking the questions. Joey, the cash, the merchandise, that's all we want. I have absolutely no idea what you want from me. Bad answer. Teddy? Don't believe you. Look, the woman I married wasn't even real. Look, perhaps she felt one way sometimes and another way another time, all right? I'd say she was moody, not Jekyll and Hyde. She was so... You're being very stupid. Yes, I know I'm stupid. <sighs> I'm bored, Joe. And I'm sleepy, Joe. So why don't you just let us all go home, eh? <laughs> Look, I'm telling you the truth. She's she's ill. She's mentally ill. I don't believe in split personalities. And neither do I! Quiet, Stubby! Stubby's getting bored, too. There's no telling what Stubby might do when Stubby gets bored. Ted, can we please forget about Stubby? All right, what the hell are we gonna do with this guy? He hasn't got a clue. Right. Just the last time. Joey, I want you to concentrate, all right? Three months ago, your future wife takes a Greyhound yeah. bus from Los Angeles to Vancouver, yeah. right? She has a fake passport under the name of Cynthia Baker. She also has four kilos of our weasel dust in a blue fight bag, Okay. all right? Would you please? In Vancouver, she receives from Dino $112,000 in exchange for this aforementioned blue flight bag. Only now, the flight bag contains four kilos of milk sugar. Your wife disappears with the cocaine and the money. Isn't that cute? This is what you call a significant career move. The little lady has severely fucked over some very important people. Stop squirming around, Joe. Okay. Where is it? I don't know. I, I don't know anything about drugs. Stubby says you're full of shit. <sighs> Open your mouth, Joe. No. 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 Stubby says, time to take your medicine. No. This is it, Joey. No. Last chance to truth or buy it. No. This is very erotic for me, Joe. No. I hope it's good for you, too. No. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Oh. 
Did I forget to feed Stubby his bullets? <laughs> Joe, find her. Get it? Elijah, are you all right? Welcome home, Joe. What happened? I don't know. Were you here? We were in my place. We just got back. God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Did you have insurance? They didn't take anything. They didn't take a fucking thing. What kind of sons of bitches would do such a fucking rotten thing? They must have been looking for drugs. What drugs? My, my Tylenols? What happened to you? Oh, I, I bumped into some of Cynthia's other friends. Beat you up? Did you call the cops? I can't. They, they say she stole a lot of cocaine. Should have guessed. Elijah, whatever it costs, I'll, I'll pay you back. I'll make it up to you. I, I... That stupid, psycho, bimbo girlfriend of yours! Are you stupid idiot? She's gonna get us all killed! You, you know they went to the trouble of stepping on every single tube of paint I own? Look at this. It's a, it's a cocoon. It's um, a silt moth. They're so beautiful, these creatures. They... No parasites. It's just about to hatch. You know, they're, they're quite incredible. They, they can't eat. The adult has no mouth parts. They, they just mate, lay their eggs, die. Huh. It's kind of sad. Go home. Go to bed. Go hide, Joe, because that's what you're good at, man. 
You know, last night somebody put a gun in my mouth, pulled the trigger. I don't know if I can explain this to you, Elijah. You know, you, you're like a straight line. You, you've always known what you wanted. Until I met this girl, I just kind of ran around in circles. Just... I mean, you're right, I, I was hiding. I had this idea that I was this superior thing, you know, better than the world, above all the, the bullshit. But she... I don't know, for the... She made me feel less alone. And I, I can't, I can't give up, I can't... It's funny, you know, the, the worse it gets, the more I want her back. I know that sounds sort of perverse, I suppose. I suppose. Sorry, Elijah, I should never have got you involved in all this. I'll go find a hotel. You don't have to go. You could stay at my place, in the valley, if you like. No, it's all right. It's, all right. It's, uh, it's, it's for me. I have to get out. I have to clear my head. Thanks. Joe, don't lose your mind. Don't die like a dog. Try not to. My place. To die. You understand that, too. There won't be any pain. Before you go, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? I was born in Los Angeles. I never had a home. I never had a father. My mother gave me away. Passed around so many places. Foster homes. But no one wanted me. And when I grew up, all they wanted were pieces of me. They took what they wanted. I let them. And I hated them for it. But you're different, aren't you? Aren't you? Hello, yes, I need to speak to Dr. Berman, please. Joseph Prince. I've left several messages for the doctor already. I... Well, it's urgent. I, I, it's about one of his patients. She's in a lot of danger. Please. Yes, if, if you could please have him call. Thank you. Yes? Is Dr. Beaumont in? Uh, no, no, he's not here. Okay, thanks. I'll call back later.
Who are you? You really don't know. No, it's all right. I am a friend. Are you here to see my father? Your father? Dr. Beaumont? Rosa? Dr. Beaumont is your father? Oh, my God. No. No, you must go. No, it's all right. We, we do know each other. Rosa, llama mi padre. Cuidado. I'm sorry I don't know who you are. And I've been very ill. So if you would please go. Please, just, 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 please have, have a look at these. Please. This is you. And me. No, no, I don't want anything from you. I just wanted to see you again. No, don't do that just now, all right? Just don't do that. If I did that, if I married you, it's not my fault. Whatever I did, I didn't mean it. It's my condition. You can't blame me. I don't blame you. I don't blame you for anything. I just cannot imagine what it's like to forget. Oh, it's more than forgetting. It's, it's, I, well, I can't explain it. All right. All right, so you can't walk. No. How did it happen? The doctors aren't sure. But my father says I'm making progress. Elizabeth. Daddy. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have come here. Why not? He said we were married. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll take care of this. Mr. Prince, I think we need to talk. I should think so. I'm afraid you don't understand. Oh, I think it's pretty bloody clear. It isn't clear at all. There's an entire history you aren't aware of. My wife, she was a very sick woman. When Elizabeth was born, I was still in medical school. I was in way way over my head. I knew she must have been abusing Elizabeth. But she was so beautiful. So I... So you let it happen? Yes. I've had to live with that. Every day of my life. I'm treating her in the therapeutic manner I'm convinced is best. You know full well you're the last person in the world who should be treating her. Her condition is precarious at best. She could retreat entirely. Look, I I'm not an expert. I don't... But I'm not as naive as you think. I mean, I, th I think I have a, a fair idea what I'm up against here. You know, I'm, and I'm not offering miracles, but is this how you wanted to be? <laughs> I, I saw those photographs. I never imagined I would see my daughter in a wedding dress. Don't you think I want her to be happy? Oh, there have been times when she's worn me out, when I'd hoped she wouldn't come back. When I was ready to commit her to an institution, to... But she always comes home. She's... She's my responsibility. She married me. I'm her husband. Daddy. 
What's going on? I'll take care of her. going to hurt you, Cynthia. That is the last thing I want to do. My name is Elizabeth. Listen, you can get into a lot of trouble for this. Don't you know you can get into a lot of trouble? Oh, come on. Turn around, please. Please, turn around. I need to take in my billion this afternoon. You gotta take me home. I'm going to. I mean it, who are you? shop here. You, you taught me to, uh, to pay attention to things, to, to people. This man here, you remember you said, you said he had pride, he had dignity. Probably had to be there. This is where I asked you to marry me. I mean, don't you remember anything? Anything? Beautiful. 
Joe. Good to see you. I told you Joe would come through for us. And he brought donuts. You're right, he doesn't look a thing like Dean Martin. Hi, Mara. Where you been? You never should have done it. Now, you just tell them where it is. Now. Joe, let me do my job. It's good to see you again, Mara. Let's talk. Ted, watch it! Oh, fuck. You idiot. Sorry, Joe. Not loaded. Damn! Ah, oh, jeez. I am really sorry about this. I didn't think you had the balls. Did she tell you the burn was her idea? That's not true. We were gonna split it. 50-50. I, I swear to God, I didn't have anything to do with it. You're a terrible liar, Jenny. Hey! She's the one who ran off, not me! Why'd you do it? Because I was sick of you. Hell, I've always been sick of you. Getting sidetracked here. Come on. Let's get this over with. You coming, Joe? It's over there, under that dead tree. No, you don't need a shovel. I just put some leaves over it. Oh, I don't know. Might come in handy. He didn't do anything! Sit down. You too. Forget it, Joe. I have what I came for. Wait till dark, and then kill them. Shit. <coughs> Have a nice day. You killed me! You killed me! <coughs> Don't piss me off, Joe. How long do you think we ought to wait? For what? For what? You know, till we kill him. Oh, please, please, listen. My, my family has money. I know they'll help me out. I know it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Hell, we're not Colombians. Dino wants to kill him so bad he should have done it himself. Personally, I'm not inclined to spend the rest of the night digging shallow graves. What are we supposed to do? Just let him go? Here, you want to kill him so bad, be my guest. Forget it. Thank you. Oh, God, thank you. Now, Jenny, due to your poor ability to judge character and your, um, irresponsible business practices, 
We're out about uh, 20,000 on this deal. And with interest plus pain and suffering, I'd say you owe us in the vicinity of 50 grand. No problem. So, you need a ride back to LA? I don't want to be alone. Neither do I. How many of you are there? There isn't even one. change. Well, I could change. I'm here. 